The story begins in the early 1940s when two young sisters didn't seem to have a care in the world. Naomi Parker, age 20, and her little sister, Ada Wynn Parker, age 17. Until de on December 7, 1941, Japan attacks Pearl Harbor. The attack was massive, inflicting great damage to our naval fleet in the Hawaiian Islands. Casualties, 3,581. War had been declared. And on December 8, 1941, President Roosevelt declares war on Japan. The men of America went off to war, leaving their families and leaving important jobs needing to be filled. Again, America sent out a call. This one was for the women of America. Join us in a victory job. The Parker family had only one male named Clyde, but they had seven daughters. Mr. Parker was determined to get them involved in the war effort. This is Joseph Parker, father, to Ada Wynn Parker and Naomi Parker, who he led by the hand to the Alameda Naval Air Station so they could apply for their jobs. The two Parker sisters were hired as mechanic learners. One day in March 1942, a photographer came to the workspace and was taking pictures of the women. This is Naomi at a grinder. This is Ada Wynn in the middle and Naomi Parker on your far left. And this is Naomi Parker working at a vertical turret lathe. The three photos can be found at CorvusImages.com. This is how they appear there. Full captions. The three photos of the sisters were published in newspapers from March 24th to March 29th, 1942. These are just a few of the newspaper clippings that can be found online. This final one is the biggest and most clearly printed. And on March 24th, the Oakland Post Tribune published three photos of Ada Wynn and Naomi, cut them out and sent them, and they saved them from 70 years. These are the original newspaper clippings cut by the ladies' hands. Naomi says she remembers working at the base for three years. Fast forward to 2009, the two sisters went to the Gathering of the Rosies in Richmond, California. These are the two ladies at the event. Naomi now 89 and Ada Wynn 87. While at the event, the two sisters went to visit the Rosie the River Museum in Richmond, California. Inside the museum, the ladies learned about President Obama's grandmother being a Rosie. The two sisters enjoyed all the exhibits and pictures. One of them they recognized. This was Naomi Parker working at a vertical turret lathe. The picture of her working at the vertical tur turret lathe was taken in 1942. Now it gets a little fuzzy here, but the ladies tell me that they spoke to somebody in charge there, telling them that that was Naomi. She informed them that they should send in the memorabilia that they have at home. They collected the three that they had, and Ada Wynn wrote a letter. This is Ada Wynn. She wrote a letter along with a little story of her time as a Rosie. She sent it in to the Alameda. Wait a minute. That would be, she said, <laughs> although Ada Wynn's letter was dated on the 20, or 2004, it's received in 2010, and it was put into their digital library in 2011. It can be found here. On March 1st, 2011, the museum curator, Veronica Rodriguez, sent this letter to Ada Wynn. Again, you may have to pause this.
This puzzled Naomi. She wondered why someone would claim her image and why wasn't her newspaper clipping she saved for 70 years proof enough. Now Naomi Parker, age 90, composed a letter and sent it in to Veronica Rodriguez. You may have to pause this. She also sent with it a picture of her back from that time and a birth certificate copy, a copy of a birth certificate. And on April 4th, 2011, Naomi received this letter from the museum curator informing her It was also informed Naomi of the passing of Geraldine Doyle. For the next four years, this had troubled Naomi. She did not want to talk ill of the dead. Instead, she wanted to send her condolences to the lady, to the Doyle family. She sat in silence until, on September 5th, 2015, I was given a photocopy of the newspaper clipping which I posted on Rosie the Riveter World War II Facebook page. But that's another story for another time. Naomi had written and copyrighted the following song in the 1970s, and she wants to share it with the world, titled, America, Come Back to the Lord. A true American. Naomi is now 94, and she did it. I want to thank you for bearing with me on my first documentary, I guess you'd call it. There will be a part two.